I'm very pleased to be able to have Jeff Malthouse join me in a meeting today. Today's goal is to uh, quiz Jeff's brains about his woodworking techniques and explore his experience with uh, TurboCAD and woodworking. Thank you very much for joining me today, Jeff. That's fine, uh, Robert. I'm pleased to uh, meet you. Um, so if you could tell us a little bit about yourself. I know that you're very active on the TurboCAD forums and you have a very strong history in the woodworking department. Well, uh, I was a soldier for 25 years, and when I came out, I uh, went back to uh, my hobby uh, uh, as a woodworker, and um, I uh, started off as a, a youth trainer, and I probably became a youth trainer in woodwork, probably more for my skills as a sergeant major than my skills as a woodworker. But I, uh, I spent those five years um, training young people to do basic woodwork skills and, um, and got qualified for my next job, which was a um, college lecturer. And uh, there I was employed as a, as a tutor for uh, carpentry and joinery. Uh, I went on to be um, a tutor and assessor for bench joinery, in fact. We uh, specialized into bench skills rather than site skills. And um, I eventually became uh, an assessor and tutor to uh, level three. But later on, um, as the market uh, decreased, um, I then reskilled to cabinet making and offered cabinet making courses up to again level three. So uh, I was lucky to get in on on that level at the time, and I also became uh, an active member of the uh, my institute, which is the Institute of Carpenters, and I became a branch secretary and um, councillor, and um, represented the East Midlands of the uh, United Kingdom for 12 years. And at the end, I became um, elected to be a master joiner. And um, that's where I, I left in early retirement. And since then, I've been um, offering myself as a distance learning tutor for the Institute of Wood Science. And I tutor candidates who are not uh, employed as um, woodworkers or in the uh, woodworking industry to take the examination, which will otherwise... Uh, they want to be ac uh, accessible to because of uh, these kind of uh, courses are only accessible in the place of employment. Oh, that's interesting. When you say distance learning, what do you mean? How do you achieve that? Well, uh, my institute provide um, the manuals and uh, the, um, the examination and um, I offer the tutorial service to enable candidates to study and uh, if they've got problems... Um, they email me back or telephone me and I can um, coach them through their problems or send them in more information to, um, to help them understand their problems. Oh, that's excellent. So, so people who are eventually looking at this course, uh, would you encourage them to email you and ask questions or how would you uh, want to do that? If you look on my website, I have got um, an address on the menu for uh, inquiries spelling out um, what I have to offer. And we can offer courses to all over the world, provided, of course, they've got access to uh, the material. Excellent. And which, which is normal anyway. I mean, um, a few months ago, I got an inquiry from a candidate in South America. He never came back, but, uh, you know, I can respond to that. And, of course, uh, I always, anyway, um, offer them um, the full facilities and all the other tutors who are also offering because um, not everybody can respond to um, distance learning and they may benefit from um, a more personal and practical uh, tutor, Perfect. which I do not offer. Perfect. Now, just to clarify, you are located in the UK, correct? That's it, in England, yes. All right. Uh, I'm really excited to have you and uh, to be able to uh, uh, pick your brains today. Um, in the past, I've been tried my hand at a little bit of woodworking myself and my expertise is in the TurboCAD program, but uh, it's a unique uh, skill of yours to be able to transfer your woodworking skills into TurboCAD and, and how they relate. So we're pretty excited to be able to uh, get that side of it from you today. My approach to TurboCAD when I'm uh, drafting is that uh, I am actually making something in wood, and um, I don't look upon it as a a computer-aided program to produce a drawing. In my mind, I'm, I am creating a piece in, in wood. And all the um, 
the techniques and um, lines and other entities that I um, draw are actually pe the actual pieces of wood. I, th I think that's a very important concept. A lot of people just say, well, they're just trying to get 2D drawings out and they don't need the 3D object. But I certainly found uh, for myself that when I was trying to build a part, it was very important to be able to visualize it and, and rotate it and see what it's like in 3D before I actually take it and start uh, m making some, some sawdust. Yes, and I also find that um, I can design and make something and then when I've got it fully in 3D and revolve and examine the object, I can see what fits and what doesn't fit. Um, whereas it would n normally take um, a prototype to discover that. Exactly, and, and with the 3D and with TurboCAD, not only do you get to see the geometry, you can also get to see the wood grains and hopefully we'll be able to cover a little bit of that today to teach people how to apply a wood grain to their, to their wood so that they actually do get a, a real piece to, to help uh, with their design. Yeah, I also found my geometry, it helped my geometry that when one's calculating angles not in the, um, the current plane and that happens um, uh, when you are um, designing roofs or other sloped faces uh, there are time-honored um, geometrical projections that you use and whereas if you set out on a, a drawing board you never really know if it is perfectly connected and it is working out but if you do it on TurboCAD and you do it, it, it tells you very, very clearly whether two lines meet or whether they're not. And so it, it proves the theorems, which I found very interesting, very good. Exactly. And another thing that we're hoping to cover today is the dovetailing. Uh, that, that is an art in itself about how to get proper dovetailing done. And you say you've got a technique for that that you hope to show us today? Yes, I'll show you that. And... Um, there is just one one main technique I, w I want to show you. All right, excellent. 